Of course, uh, besides the food and eating, there's also many things that you can learn and be a part of us at the fair as well. As Local 5's Chinuher is with an artisan this morning at the Cultural Building, learning how to tie-dye, bring on the pretty groovy colors. To do what's going on? Good morning, Jackie. Yeah, it is uh, the space we are in right now, as you can tell from behind me, it is beautiful. Lots of colors uh, coming into your home this morning, especially if you come out here to the State Fair. You can come check this out at the Cultural Building. So who is the person behind all of this? This is the lady of the hour. She is the one behind all of this. This is Angie. Thank you so much for waking up early and just oh, showing us you. all of your artwork. Thank you. And I can't take full credit for all of the work. My husband does a lot. Oh, of, it's a team effort. Yes, it's definitely a team effort. He does the majority of the art um, and I do partner with him and we yeah. we work on that together. So Yeah, and what an incredible display you have here. I mean, you just take a look at something like this and just look at all the colors and all the work that goes into this. Mm -hmm. Talk about what that process is like for you and your husband when you make something like this. Sure, so to, to be able to do something like this at the fair with so much traffic coming through here, it's really an all year process. Um, uh, we start you know, right after the fair is over yeah. and start making product for the following year. Um, to make a piece, um, it starts, we kind of like batch them and maybe fold 30 pieces to, mm -hmm. to prep for the dyeing. So then once those pieces are ready to be dyed, then we'll mix a batch of dyes and to be efficient, it works better to do to dye several pieces at once. Um, and we apply the dye with um, squirt bottles. So yeah. um, you are, you're able to see us do that process here at the fair every day um, at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. So that's kind of the best way to really see how it works is actually see someone doing it. So. Yeah, and I think what's so incredible is there's so there are so many pieces in here, yeah. but you make them all throughout the year just for the fair. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, it takes a lot of time, and um, I think you know we just want to have a variety of items because um, we want to be we want everyone to find their special piece. So yeah. um, it is a lot of work, but um, you know it takes a lot of time yeah. to get that ready. Yeah. Well, the, also incredible, Jackie. Here is that when you come in here. Like every piece looks different. I mean, it's no two piece really looks the same here, Angie. That's true. Yeah. yeah, so it's a lot of work and it's just incredible work to check out. This is in the cultural building. So stop by today and the rest of the fair to come check it out and come support Angie, support local artists. I love that, uh, Chinu. I love that you get to support local artisans. And those are absolutely gorgeous. Which one are you going to wear for us this morning? You know, kind of show it off here a little yeah. bit. Yeah, man. They're there are so many some there are t-shirts there are uh leggings there right, are dresses, dresses there's yeah. whatever you need you can find As you say, there's everything here jackie is there some pants we'll out there back, i might so. need to get me some tie-dyed pants when i'm stopping out there at the fair later on today yeah you know they'll be perfect for you to wear in studio <laughs> when it's cold you know she knew loves knows that i love my pants <laughs> I'm wearing my wild pants in the studio. Thank you, Chidu. Thank you for sharing some wonderful artists with us this morning. We'll continue to check in with you throughout today. All right.